So I'm holding this camera at the moment because I want you to get a close-up of this finished painting. <laughs> and um, if you watch the beginning of this painting, when I was trying to paint outside and the wind came up and blew my canvas over into my palette, well, it happened again. And so this video was going to be about how I finished this painting, uh, but instead we're going to talk about um, focus and damage control and uh, a few other things like that. So let me put it on pause and we'll give it. So um, let's talk a few minutes about um, what happened here. And both times this happened with my palette falling into my canvas falling into my palette was I wasn't focused and I was kind of in a hurry and I'm learning something new with the uh, the video camera and all that so um, and there's so much we just don't have any control over and um, this is one of those this I had control over um, this easel has these these clips that uh, move in and out to get this out of here and both times first time I was outside the wind flipped it over this time I was right here and um, I didn't have it clipped in so you know in an ideal world um, we would remember all those things I have been distracted this week um, as uh, I'm sure you guys ha uh, are too we're all out of our our element and um so anyway um how did i finish this painting couple things one i came in with um my filbert and my darker blue and i did bring in some more darks into the background around these lights um, but i also had to wait for the heavy white paint to dry so that i could come in with my white paint and uh, build up these lights again because they had gotten kind of muddy with all the wet on wet paint and I couldn't build it up. So I had to wait for that to dry and then I could come in and reestablish these lights. So um, that was the one thing I did. But also then having to come in and I reestablished my darks then. Um, uh, I did reestablish my darks. I really did some work on the eyes. Um, I had found that this eye was kind of off a little bit. and But the biggest thing, and I didn't notice till I watched the video of uh, the painting of this, um, this, this horse, was that I, his nose was way over here. It's at a strange angle. It was had a strange angle. It came down and then the nose kind of angled out. I thought it was the camera that was distorting it, but no, I had distorted it. So that's one thing I worked on, and I had videoed that reconstruction of the nose, and unfortunately, I have um, lost that. I, well, I didn't lose it. I just didn't push the record button. And like I said, <laughs> oh, you're in the trenches with me on this uh, painting videos. Totally new to me. I would rather ride a horse. I'd rather paint a horse. This video thing, um, it's a challenge, but I'm going to hang in there. I don't give up easy, and I do like a challenge, and holy moly, this has been a challenge. Um, I've had a lot of uh, train wrecks, uh, particularly on this painting. Started out having issues, um, and um, it's just had issues, but there's not issues that I'm willing to give up on. And I'm really happy with him. <laughs> um, but for some reason, it just wants to follow. But that's had the same problem twice. If you watch the first video, those same colors were pretty much in the same spots. And uh, But you saw in that that I could go over those colors that were on there and paint over them. And you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that too. I'm going to do it again. But... In the meantime, for these eyes, I brought in some reflected lights into the eyes over here. And then this really pretty light right here. And uh, you're hearing my door open and close. I do live here with my husband. And we are in a, a very small space. 
just gotta gotta deal with what's happening and uh, that's that's been my lesson with since the move and um, I'm out of my element and I'm trying something new and so you know what you just can't you can't let it disturb you too much um, so yeah in this in his eyes and I wish I could get it closer that you could see it but um, there's a beautiful light here in that eye that brings the eyes to life you saw it happen in cowboy remedy as well and um, this is a cooler light. It's uh, the lights reflect the environment around it. Um, the other, the thing I did with this nose because it was off to this angle. I had to rebuild it. I also realized I had his nostrils too long and really big. But you know, the whole if, if you don't learn anything else about all this stuff is, you know that you can um, oil paint is forgiving. It is. You have to be patient with it, like letting it dry so I could bring up my lights. Uh, you have to kind of understand the nature of it, and you only learn that through experience. Um, but uh, I'm like, uh, I don't know, I, I just trying to get pictures of this thing, too, is like um, it shows up different on different mediums once I've gotten the picture. Like it's on my website, which I'm pretty pleased with that picture. It's a little dark. I mean, you can see here, it's not really a dark painting, uh, but um, on my tablet, it shows up very gray. Um, on the video, I think it shows up pretty good. Uh, it's just one of those weird things. So I'm going to continue here, and hopefully my screen doesn't shut off on me. It's done that before. So what do we do here? What do we do? Well, let's see. I think, for one, I'm going to clean this up now by coming in and pulling off the paint where it does not belong. And there's a big white here that I'm just going to use that and push it in. I'm going to come in with a paper towel up here, see if I can't just pull it off. Okay, better, right? Thank goodness all of this mess down here was not across his face. Um, this is a lot of paint right here. I mean, this has got tons of paint right here. I mean, look at that. That's a lot of paint. So pick that up. Come back and maybe scrape it one more time. I will have to wait. Um, I will wipe it off. I think this paint is still wet. Maybe. I I put red on my palette and I hadn't used it. <laughs> I think this horse must have wanted red. Because it keeps showing up. But there's some good paint on here too. Just scrape it off. Wipe off the knife. And come down here. Pull it off. Wipe it off. I'm going to take off as much as I can. <laughs> damage control, damage control, damage control. Um, this horse has been so much about damage control. I got to a place where I was happy with it, and then I kept painting on it. And so then I lost, I lost what I liked about it, and I had to go back and, and get some of those things back. Um... Uh, so this is what I'm doing. I'm just not going to get anxious about this. Um, boy, with painting, you just have to always come back to, you know what, it's just paint on fabric. I know that's really um, simplifying it because I know exactly what painters go through to get what they want. And... I know how devastating it can be when it all goes wrong, but maybe that's why this happened. So we could talk about that. And honestly, this painting for me has been one thing after the other. So, there we have 
as much of that off as I'm going to get with a palette knife. And uh, there's some lovely colors. I'm going to scra keep scraping. This doesn't belong there. I didn't put up oh, blue. Really, a, that's a phthalo too. That one's going to give me a little grief. Okay, see it's starting to smear now. That's okay. It's really okay. Um, you have to learn. This reminds me um, of a... Uh, I took a pottery class. My husband and I did together. It was an eight-week class or ten weeks or something like that. And... I couldn't throw a pot. I couldn't throw a pot for anything. I threw the clay everywhere, but I couldn't throw a pot. My husband did beautiful pots. And I worked on it and worked on it and worked on it. And I could not, for the life of me. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's really making a, a little blue. There's going to be some uh, residue here that I'm going to have to paint over. But for the most part, I, I keep putting a clean spot on my paper towel, get a clean spot, and just keep wiping. Anyway, back to the pottery story. I could not. I was very frustrated, but determined, and I couldn't. I couldn't throw a pot. I couldn't get a pot that would um, be symmetrical. I couldn't get a pot that I could control on the wheel. But I don't do moving objects. I don't do escalators. I don't. Uh, I don't travel as well as I'd like to, um, I get vertigo very easily. So I really kind of like things to be still. So the potter's wheel and I were, were not the best of friends. But I finally, oh my goodness, it was like the last week of the class, and I finally got the most perfect, beautiful pot. I mean, it was gorgeous. It was so pretty. It's more like a bowl. But I was so proud of it, and I was just like, Finally, finally, I got this. So I took it to the instructor. And he said, yeah, he said, that is a beautiful, beautiful bowl. He said, that is a great bowl. And, uh, but the next thing he did, he took a wire. And he cut my bowl in half. And he goes, yes, and look, it doesn't have any air bubbles in it. Now do it again. Okay. As you can imagine, that was like, I didn't see it coming. I was shocked and I was devastated. And, but he said, you have to know you can do it again. So here we are with Pale Horse that was done, signed. And even on my website, all it needed to do was dry a little, and I could mount it and frame it. And so this is what happened. But you can see I've cleaned it up mostly. It's going to take some work, a little bit, but not much. I mean, it could have been worse, right? It could have been all over its face. It could have been in that lovely white mane. It could have been so many things. What it was um, is a reminder not to get so emotionally invested in your art that it keeps you from continuing. You know, this could have been one of those moments that it's like, okay, that's it. I'm done. Um, as much trouble as I've had with the videos, too, I would like some days to just say, forget that. Why am I doing the videos? Um, it's, it's more relaxing to paint and you get into your own little world and your own little Zen place than to, to make these videos. But I was compelled. Something just said, you need to do this. Um, and I learned something and, uh, and so whenever there's things that put me out of my usual routine and one of these days I'm going to talk about 
the crash, the economical crash, the financial crash that happened in 2008, and there was no business to be had, I want to, I will talk about what did I do? Um, how did I use, what did I do during that time? So, uh, what am I doing right now? I guess I thought I was going to, here, I'm going to take some white and I'm going to take a little bit of this thalo blue and, um, I don't know where I was going, uh, a little bit too much. So I'm going to come in here and just start repairing once again, these spots. I'm about ready to think this horse really wants it to be more of an abstract painting and have more color into it. And <laughs> cause these same spots I'm painting again because of a <laughs> malfunction. But what do you do? That red's gonna be a little bit harder to cover. And and it may take several layers. <sighs> but oil paint, living paint, forgiving. Uh, Pale Horse, this painting is on my website and it is for sale. And um, to me, it's kind of symbolic of the, ver the journey through this change in our lives. It's been full of challenges and unexpected, totally unexpected things that have come about in my life, um, challenging me, but as you see, you just have to trust your paint, you got to trust yourself, <laughs> and this is about not letting things be a setback, um, it really is about that, because this could be, a, this could have been a setback for anybody, um, so I'm trying, I'm looking for one of my other brushes because uh, I have some damage control over here um, in these areas. And I, I may not be exactly where I, I had it before. Um, probably won't be. A couple things happened for me. One is I never campaigned the same thing twice. It's not something I choose to do. Um, I'm mixing my burnt carmine, a little bit of, um, yellow ochre and some white. And I just want to, yeah, it's not so bad, right? But I think I'm going to leave that blue swatch there. I think I am. Um, I may be bringing this color in a little bit over here just cause that, I think. Um, let me continue. Let me just work with these that I've got using my yellow ochre and some white. Um, <laughs> I've got too much yellow ochre now. Like I said, this just, this, 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 when this happened, all these spots, I could not believe it. I was just, my, my jaw dropped. I'm just like, and all I could do was laugh. I laughed so hard I cried. But I cried too. I mean, it was like, holy moly, this is like, okay, there's a test here. But see, we've almost got this fixed. We do. And in a way, I'm kind of glad it happened so that you can kind of see this. Because, oh my goodness, painting is full of trials and errors. <laughs> oh, like life. Ooh, that's bright. Let's take that back. All right. I'm going to set that back. Okay, there we go. Um, you got to have faith. Got to keep the faith. Said that all along. And you know what? Uh, there's been a lot learned for all of us. Um, but I think the main thing is, is to 
Trust yourself. Okay. Keep the faith. And um, don't give up. You know, just don't give up. Okay. So for the most part, the pale horse is back in order. I'm going to leave that there. Um, that happened there. I'm just going to leave that. That's okay. There's a few other areas that I think it's one of those things, if I work too much on it, it's going to be, uh, it's not going to be a good thing. A um, little bit of gold's coming through there from the yellow ochre. But, so, uh, as far as finishing this painting, I went and reestablished my darks, okay? I totally redrew and uh, shoved the nose over, lower part of his face. Um, I uh, brought lights into the eyes. I highlighted and rebuilt this part of his face as well, too. Um, but I've spent hours and hours and hours that never ended up on video. You know, just, just a nose area like this can be um, lots and lots of time. Uh, any portrait, uh, it's those little nuances and changes and um, that make this horse unique and this horse and I have been through it together and you've seen parts of it but um, you know don't give up don't give up you know if if something happens and you feel like crying or throwing something or just stomping your feet I mean oh believe me <laughs> believe me um, there is a you know, go with it. Go with it. Get it out of your system, but get back in the saddle. Okay? So, today is Friday, and I think this weekend, um, things you'll see things starting to come back to a, a gradual sense of normal. And um, don't give up. Do your best. Your competition is only with yourself. Um, we compete against ourselves. Uh, we're all out to do our personal best. And life obviously throws stuff at us. <laughs> I'm trying to remember to focus, focus, focus. And uh, focus in the moment. It's always when I'm distracted that things like that happen. So, um, I guess it was okay. I think you needed to see that this could be repaired. No worse for the wear. Uh, he has a few extra dots. And I'm not unhappy with them. Well, you know. So, there we go. So, happy Friday. Get busy. And um, be patient with yourself. Don't give up. And um, take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.